Well, if there's an event that comes up at your company that's serious enough for an investigation, it's going to be a big deal. Emotions are going to run high. And there is a temptation to have a knee-jerk reaction to allegations. Your job as an investigator is to keep an open mind and get to the truth. As far as questioning witnesses, just think of the old reporter's trick of constantly asking who, what, when, why, and how questions. Finally, regarding the confidentiality and retaliation instructions, you cannot promise absolute confidentiality and still continue and investigate because you have to talk to other people about what was said. You promise them that you will keep it confidential to the extent possible consistent with a thorough investigation. Retaliation is a major concern. You don't want to have the people who see the complaint and may be responsible for it or may be the accused, you don't want them to take any negative action against the victim. So you want to instruct those witnesses under no circumstances are they to take any negative action whatsoever against someone who made the complaint. So in sum, to avoid the three most common mistakes I see when conducting investigations. Number one, start with an open mind. Number two, thoroughly question the witnesses. And number three, make sure you appropriately counsel witnesses about confidentiality and retaliation. Your boss would love this video too. Email it now.